I've tested out a ton of microphones at this point, but none of them have been like this one from Aston, for better or for worse. This microphone does some things differently from the rest of the competition. So with that said, introducing the Aston Stealth, God's gift to the audio world. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Twitter, my Instagram, and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details to that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. And so I'm going to be recording this entire review with this microphone so that you can get a pretty good idea as to what this microphone would sound like for content creation. I'm also going to be streaming with this microphone tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time so that you can ask all of your questions live. So links to my Twitch down in the description. Now let's begin with an unboxing. So this is one of the quirkiest unboxings ever as they just kind of decided that they wanted to put smiling faces around the packaging. But you are going to find the instructions, a little pin, the microphone itself, the mounting system, and the legs. Not the most glamorous unboxing necessarily, but that's really the least of our worries here. And the exterior design consists of metal, and we're talking about a very rounded and symmetrical design here. This microphone just looks really sleek and very interesting, honestly. It's such a simple design with a very hefty build to it. This microphone is also pretty large, by the way. Larger than the Shure SM7B, by my estimations, and comparable to the Electro Voice microphones. And this is a cylinder, but premium. And I know that I just keep going on and on about how it looks, but it is a very unique look, and I very much appreciate the aesthetics here and the attention to the build. However, there obviously are reasons for it to look this way. And I'm not saying that I don't like it, I'm saying that I really do like it. On the bottom, you're going to find a knob that clicks and allows you to switch between four different EQ presets. And we are going to do a short little test just a little bit later with these in just a bit. Now you're also going to find the XLR port, a slot for the mount, and a button for turning the purple LED ring on and off. There's also a pop filter right on top that does help with plosives as well and i have to say that it does do a pretty good job here so let's go ahead and talk about the specs of this microphone because there's actually quite a lot to talk about here this is a cardiodynamic microphone with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz one that can be used with phantom power as well to give it a gain boost if necessary this particular feature i believe is actually more situational or more dependent on what interface you're using so I actually decided not to really run any tests with it. However, I did kind of dabble a, a little bit with turning phantom power on. I wasn't a big fan of how it sounded with phantom power. It seems to sound a lot more compressed actually with phantom power for some reason. And this microphone also has a built-in internal shock mount. All of this is inside of this shell and it works very well on its own when it comes to absorbing shock. Now let's get into the actual sound test. I'm going to be doing this part without any kind of background music so that you can hear what it sounds like. And over here you are actually going to find, again, four modes which all have a default preset. You've got V1, which is a mid boost specifically tailored to men's voices. Then there's V2, which is a boost in the highs specifically tailored to women's voices. There is going to be the G as well, which is just going to be for recording guitar. And then there's going to be the D, which is going to be dark mode or for giving you that low rich sound. And needless to say, that is my favorite setting. And it is the one that I've been recording with this entire time. However, here's going to be a sound test with each and every one of these presets. And OK, so the sound test is going to be done with V1 right here. And this is what it's going to sound like. Um, And this is sort of just like the sound that you should be expecting out of it, at least with some somebody with like my kind of voice like this is what what it would sound like it would be just very much so an emphasis on the mid in my voice and just like pushing that forward more so again like this is tailored more so more so towards men's voices and making the switch over to v2 that this is what that is going to sound like and that is going to emphasize the highs a lot more than anything else and it is going to be very clear from what you're hearing Ho hopefully you're you're watching this video with headphones on in order for you to really hear the differences between these otherwise if you're just using like phone speakers or something like that you're not really going to hear much of a difference if at all so 
yeah, but otherwise this is what that is going to sound like. And then this is going to be the G preset. And this is actually meant for re recording instruments or recording the guitar specifically. So obviously this setting is not meant for like spoken word applications at all. So don't worry about it. I, I just kind of figured that you might want to know what it sounds like either way. Now we're going back to the dark mode that I've been recording on this entire time because I do actually happen, happen to prefer the sound a lot more. And yeah this is essentially what you're going to get out of that one. And also, as you may have noticed, this microphone handles pulses really well too, but I have to say that the first three settings I'm not a huge fan of because they either really don't work well with my voice at all, or they're just too boosted in set frequencies. Obviously, G is meant for instrument recording or guitar recording, so that doesn't really count here. Now we're moving on to the EQ test, and in this case, I'm actually using V1 as like the baseline for this test and I've actually gone ahead and lowered the mids here because this setting in particular is very mid forward too mid forward if anything so I, I went ahead and lowered the mids on this one increased the highs by quite a bit and increased the lows by quite a bit because I wanted to keep at that depth of the low end and wanted to keep the clarity of the high end as well and I would say that it sounds pretty good like this however I'm going to be doing the rest of of this review with just the dark mode setting instead and no other EQ filters applied to it at all. And now on to my complaints. I really don't find the V1 or V2 presets to be very good because they sound pretty compressed to me. However, they actually make for good baselines for what to change when you're running it over the EQ. And the V1 setting obviously tells you that it's the most mid forward, so you know that you want to bring that down and probably focus on nailing the lower and higher frequencies instead. The V2 voice tells you that it's very emphasized on the high, so you might want to instead focus on the low to mid frequencies instead to try and like balance that out a bit and just to make it sound best with your voice. And things like that, really, I would say. Now, the guitar setting is obviously very different. I can't really judge it. But regardless of whether you're male or female, have a higher or lower pitch voice, I would just EQ this microphone further. So I don't really recommend using this microphone if one, you're not comfortable using an EQ, and two, you expect it to just sound amazing out of the box, unless your voice just works with the dark mode. I wish that this had a more balanced, flat setting that could work for most people as is, but with some EQ, it could just allow you to make it sound best for your voice in particular. It seems like no matter which preset you end up going with, you'll have a highly targeted sound that this microphone is trying to aim for or give you. So this is really the most that I've ever had to say about any XLR microphone so far, and I want you to know that I do really like this microphone, but maybe not as much as I thought I would. In my opinion, this microphone requires work to get it to sound good or be able to suit you properly or to suit a lot of people properly. And I would recommend using some kind of cloud lifter or SE Dynamite with it to clean up the sound a little bit as it does appear to have a higher noise floor though i am also using the yamaha nv10xu audio interface and this interface doesn't have the cleanest preamps either however this microphone is surprisingly customizable since it makes it very obvious as to what needs to be eq'd to sound best for you it's built really well looks really cool and handles plosives really well in my opinion now would i personally buy this over the shure sm7b no but I believe that this microphone offers more support when it comes to different use cases. Instrument recording being one of those and that dark mode already sounding so sweet and so smooth. I like this microphone quite a bit. I just think that this microphone is really for people who like to tinker or who are willing are willing to tinker with their audio and they want to do, or I should say, if you're just that kind of person in general, then you will like this sound or this microphone quite a bit too. I can recommend it, but probably not to everyone that is currently watching this video. And if you're interested in purchasing this microphone, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. And if you end up using any of my links, and that includes Luster, which is actually going to be a great tool for helping you find alternatives to microphones like this one, or just like to find even sales on a microphone like this. It is going to help you do exactly that. So link to that down below. And there are also going to be links to Abunda. Like let's say that you did decide that you want to go with this microphone. Abunda is going to make it extremely easy for you to finance this microphone on Amazon without the need of having your own credit card or getting yourself wrapped up in anything insane or crazy it is just going to be very simple financing so links to that down below and if you use any of my links you'll be helping out the channel quite a bit so i'd appreciate that quite a bit and also don't forget that i'm going to be streaming with this microphone tonight at 8 p.m eastern time so do make sure to stop by 
subscribe for that. And links to my Twitch are going to be down below. There's also the Tech Summit podcast, so you can go ahead and subscribe for. And we do have a Patreon that you can go ahead and subscribe to. And in exchange, you would be entered in a monthly giveaway where we give away one piece of tech that we've reviewed on this channel of at least 50 bucks in value or above. So links to that down below. And you can also follow me on the rest of my social media, like my Instagram and my Twitter. And for any kind of questions or anything like that, you can always stop by the Tech Summit Discord as well. So with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy. Thank you.